now what we did is we came back down the Baldwin and we're going on the Templeton, which I showed you on the sign just a little while ago. So this is the Templeton Trail. We're just going to go a little bit up and see what we can see. And this is a little different angle at Cathedral, as you can kind of see there. And there's some folks coming this way. Okay. So we're going up Templeton and we're going to go, because the creek, I don't know if you can hear it on here or not, but the creek, you can kind of hear it to the left of us. Um, looking for like a little spot maybe to sit where I can show you guys. The wife just walked off somewhere. I don't know where she went. Mrs. Blasphemy. <laughs> And you can kind of see a little different angle, kind of to the north side, I would say the northwest side of Cathedral right now. And got some more folks coming. Yeah, that's something we noticed out here. Is even out here right now on the trails, when you pass by people, everybody's been polite. They're putting their masks on. I've got mine on right now, which I'm about to take off. But as they pass you, everyone has put on their mask. Everybody's wearing a mask out here, which is great. So it's, uh, it's, it's very, very cool, very respectful. So yeah, now we're approaching uh, the creek here. This is Oak Creek. Throwing a mask because you'll see some people. But, wow, very cool. Absolutely. It's pretty. I think I see where a lot of people get that picture from. It's it's over this way. I think I wonder if we could keep going to get right over there. There's a nice little shot. Listen to that water run. Yeah, oh well, you gotta go, you gotta go. Absolutely.
relaxing, beautiful sounds of nature. Look at the hat. hat. Uh, she's got like a half a tree on there. Probably. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is on Templeton, so if you if you come through on the Baldwin Trail, so when you go to the parking lot, you'll want to take the Templeton side. If you take it, if you notice, there's people coming across over there. If you can get over there, um, you can see them. But this is on the Templeton side. So when you come through, just keep walking as you come in. And once you see the divider that takes you on Baldwin or Templeton, take Templeton. And it, it's not very far up Templeton when you run right into this. And then you can kind of walk right down here by the water. It's a cool rock to maybe chill out on. You know, definitely during the summer, I'm sure that thing gets busy. It's kind of wintry right now, so if the water is freezing, I just stuck my hand in there. It's ice cold. I can see some people there walking on the other side coming this way. Beautiful spot. find our way out of here. Found something else. I'm trying to flip it over. Oh, pistachio shell. <laughs> it's a shell of some kind. Right out there is the trail, babe. It's up there. I don't know how we're going to get up there from here, though. Might have to walk back through, maybe? I don't know. We went a little off the trail. Very sandy portion. Jeez, sand is thick. What's the matter? What is that? Oh, it's a dragonfly. It's cold. She's getting a dragonfly on her finger. Oh, dude. Come on, buddy. Like hugging me because he's cold. He's cold. Find anything on the trails. <laughs> Where am I going to put you so you can see? You got to get him to some sunshine if you want to keep him warm. I got to see if I can get up this thing first. Alright, maybe you guys will catch me on video busting my ass here. Definitely a steep climb. That's hard with a GoPro in your hand. Ugh. There we go. You can put them over here on this thing. We're trying to find somewhere to put the dragon. You can put them on, uh, there's sunshine there. There's sunshine right there. Now we get a good look at him. That's kind of cool. Hi, little dude. See how he keeps lowering his face now? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, this is kind of a peaceful little spot. Come right there.
over here. Slick rocks, babe, real slick. Careful. Very slick rocks. Ugh.
I came back through here just a minute ago, but let uh, me get a different angle look at it. Right above these rocks here is Cathedral. It's, of course, we're down so low it's hard to see by the creek, so it's just difficult to see it, but it's right there. We're like kind of at the foot of it, so to speak. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's an, uh, my wife just discovered an alien. It's a, a waving alien. There it is. I don't know if you can see it on the picture there. It's like a cactus hanging on the end of it with like a stick. It looks like it's an alien waving. It's like, what's up, dudes? Yeah. It's starting to turn colors. We're getting ready to go into fall. We're in fall, but we're getting ready to really go into fall. So. We may have to come back out here so I can take some fall foliage pictures for you guys. I know my wife is. She's going to come back out here. I'm going to come with her. She takes her pictures. I mean, I definitely recommend this trail. If you come out here, I mean, we didn't even go all the way around. It goes all the way around um, Cathedral Rock. So it darts in different directions. You can take some harder trails or some simpler trails, whatever. We're, again, we're just kind of looping around it so the loops are a little bit easier to walk. But, uh, I mean, as you can see, the two sides that I've taken you to today kind of gives you an idea of what you can do. I mean, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. It's an amazing set of trails, especially right here next to the creek, which is just right down there. We were just down there a little while ago where that rock is at so it kind of gives you an idea we kind of crept down there off the trail a bit to get close to the water and always watch your footing definitely on the way back there is a lot of slick rocks with just a little bit of powder on it a little bit of that dirt powder and it is slick as you can hear me fumbling definitely helps to have like a walking stick walking cane or something use it as a third leg so you don't go tumbling and you've got the trail marker here I think that's the way we're supposed to go, isn't that the way that's pointing? It's See, just, it, just, it just loops around, okay. It's a cool looking tree. That is cool. So you kind of see, it loops around, you can go down to the creek that way. Yes, if yeah. you just come up this way, this is the Templeton Trail. So if you just kind of follow where we're going right here, just follow along this side, you'll see the signs. That'll... Are you guys going that way? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead of us. All right, you got it. We I was, exhausted. I was just narrating for YouTube anyway, so I was narrating so you can kind of hear me <laughs> with the directions here. But yeah, you can see that, that this is the Templeton Trail, so it's going to take you back into this area here. And... It'll loop you around, but we're gonna get up here where it divides to where you can go to the Bradshaw uh, Trail. Oh, I'm sorry, Baldwin Trail. And uh, then you can also loop towards the creek too as well. And then all you have to do really, once you walk from the parking lot into here, you just gotta come up to this sign that's right here. There's one more spot where it forks off. Yeah, there's, there is a spot where it forks off one more time, but yeah, you just stay to your left, but uh, you can kind of see that way you kind of know where to go and you can take that way that's where we went earlier to go down to the creek that way and then we're right back at the little fork here so that's where we went today where we went down that way 
that's Baldwin and then this is Templeton here so you can see we're right back to where we're at and then it's Baldwin that way as you can see then you just go this way right out to the parking lot and that's pretty much it yep you just take this out well, anyway sorry about that we had some folks that needed some help out so there you go make sure when you come here and if you're not familiar with the area make sure you either bring a map or you follow the trail signs and make sure you know how to get back to your vehicle because <laughs> they had no clue they had walked all the way around they were on the front side of cathedral there they've still got one heck of a hike still to go and uh they had lost their way and you can you can get lost out here really easy so it happens all the time so yeah just make sure you mark your way and know where you're going so we're very familiar with this area so it's pretty hard for us to get lost i mean you know there's some other places i'll take you that we're not as familiar with but you know that it could be easy to get lost but the trail markers here aren't well defined always so it's uh it's just best man mark your route out know where you're going bring yourself a little trail map if you're not familiar with the area and just follow it that's it or just follow the trail markers or pay attention to how many you pass and then if you want to turn around just go the same route you came in if you start to venture you'll get lost like those folks did so there's anyway also, there's also a really good um hiking app called all trails i would suggest using that too if you can get service if your service is spotty but out here um verizon's your best bet so if you have verizon i highly recommend all trails there you go yeah all trails that's right that's she uses that all the time for us sometimes when we go somewhere so we can kind of gauge how difficult each hike is it really helps with that so if we want to take an easier hike all trails is really good and she'll kind of guide us that way or if we want to take a more difficult one you know it'll tell you that too and it gives you the miles it gives you everything and it'll gps kind of track you as you go too so it's real helpful so yeah there you go so we're coming out on the baldwin a little bit getting closer to the parking lot where we parked again we parked on the back side of cathedral that's verde valley school road until you hit the dirt road and then it'll be on your left about a mile down the dirt road or so you might remember this is when we walked in there's the crescent moon trail that i'll stop here and show you that's right down there and so we just like left it but you could take that down there there's some rocks and stuff like that that you can walk around and examine so there's there's all kinds of areas again like we said just make sure you mark, mark your way map your way like my wife was talking about the all trails is extremely helpful And voila, you can see down there, that's the Crescent Moon Trail. And again, the creek kind of goes down that way too as well. It's real sandy down there too. But we're getting almost back to the parking lot. We're getting closer, so. And we're coming to the end of the trail here, as you will soon see. So that's the backside of the cathedral there. And taking the Baldwin Trail to Templeton. And as I showed you, we didn't go on it with the little Crescent Moon Trail. It just wraps around the creek down there. Yeah, you can kind of see we're nearing the end here going getting back to the parking lot just want you guys to be able to see it so that way if you come this way you know what to do you know where to go it is a beautiful hike i mean if you decide to walk around the whole of cathedral well worth it i'm sure decide to walk up cathedral 
I haven't had the courage to do that yet, or the stamina, but it might be worth a shot. Yep, yeah, you can see we're right back to where we started there. There's Cathedral off in the distance. We were kind of down where all those rocks were at next to the creek before, so that's kind of the Red Rock Crossing area a little bit. And we were on the other side of that hill there when we were taking the Baldwin. And as you can see, we're reaching the end here. I'll start to see the parking lot come in and the signs. So that was Sir Blasphemy's travel for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, click that bell, and I'll see you soon.